In this Conducting a Test video, part of our Getting Started series, we'll cover the two methods available to conduct your test and how to log test results using both methods. After inputting all test information and clicking Generate Test Plan, the first page you'll see is Short Test Plan page. The Short Test Plan is ideal for users that are familiar with the test they are conducting. It only shows the most necessary information and instructions for each test block. From the short test plan, you can track your progress on each test block as a whole. Recording test information varies for different types of test blocks, though. For atmospheric preconditioning and conditioning, click Start to choose the co correct starting date and time, then record the temperature and humidity. Click Finish when testing is complete and fill in the rest of the test details. For conditioning, you'll first choose a, an anticipated condition. Some of these conditioning procedures require more than one cycle, like hot, humid, then extreme heat, moderate relative humidity. For instances like this, click Add Row to record information about additional conditioning cycles. For most test blocks, like shock and compression, you can conduct your test and click All Complete when all sequences have been completed. You can also use the note text box to record any comments or observations you made during the test. Vibration test blocks look a bit different in that you will check the progress of each step of the block instead of the block as a whole. But like other blocks, you can make any notes in the notes text box. To attach photos to test blocks, click Log Detailed Results, Edit, and add photos in their descriptions at the bottom of the page. Once your photos are added, click Save. If you'd like to add more photos, then there are rows available. Just click Edit again, and you can add more images. If you were unable to complete all steps of a test block because your package failed, you can also click Log Detailed Results to record different results for each step. Once all your files are uploaded and other detailed information input, you can return to the previous page by clicking Return to Test Plan. For users who are less familiar with a test procedure, or those who plan on taking photos and recording results on a mobile device, we recommend using the step-by-step -step procedure. Step-by-step -step shows more information about each test block, displays the test blocks one at a time, and also allows you to record more detailed results. The step-by-step -step procedure can be accessed by clicking Step-by-Step -step Procedure at the top right corner of the short test plan, or by clicking Log Detailed Results next to any of the test blocks. From the Step-by-Step -step page, you can individually track the results of each sequence in a test block, record pass-fail results for package and product, and add photos for the post-test report. To move on to the next test block, click Save, then Next Step. Once you're done testing, head over to the post-testing page to log all post-testing results, observations, and images. To access your completed PDF test report, just click Print Test. Thanks for listening. If you want to learn more about ISTA Paxite, check out our other support videos found on our support page.